Good day. I'm Mark Woodworth. I'm joined by my colleague and good friend Jack Cordial. Jack, thanks uh, for joining us again sure, Mark. for this special edition of Lodging Insights. Uh, What's so special about it? It's special, Jack, because we just learned uh, literally minutes ago that uh, Chairwoman Janet Yellen uh, and the FLOMC has decided to go ahead and begin moving rates up. So we, we lots of discussion, lots of talk, but uh, for the viewer's benefit as well as my own, uh, what does that, that latest Fed action and, and their plans moving forward mean for lodging industry participants? Yeah, it, the interest rate movement uh, by the Fed uh, is, is, has a lot of complications as you interpret those, that movement for um, hospitality market participants. One thing we do know is it's not a one-to-one -one relationship, mm -hmm. so that a 25 basis point change in the federal funds rate doesn't translate directly to a, one, a 25 basis point change in hotel cap rates and interest rates. How do you know that? Well, there, there's, there's, a, that, <laughs> there's a mountain of literature on this. Okay. Plus, I, I just finished a study on, on how 10-year uh, treasury rates uh, translate into hotel cap rates. And uh, I'm going to go to the board now and, and, okay. and demonstrate. Um, so you're going to put your professor cap back on for a few minutes. <laughs> I am. Okay. And we got a whole wall here. Okay, well, let me board, get out of the way so. then and turn it over to you. Okay. So, uh, Mark, we haven't done one of these uh, board exercises before. It should be fun. I made the claim that um, the relationship between a change in the federal funds rate and the change in market rates that hotel market participants are interested in is not a one-to-one -one relationship. And I'm going to give you two reasons why uh, that's true. Number one, if we look at a tracing of the yield curve, the federal funds rate change that just occurred occurred at the entry point of the, uh, of the yield curve. It's an overnight rate. That's quite a bit different than the 10-year or so rate that corresponds to hotel cap rates, holding period for investors, and the 10-year term of mortgage, uh, mortgage commitments that, that uh, hotel market participants enter into. So this space here, there's a high correlation between the change that occurred today and, uh, and those rates. But out here, that correlation breaks down. And so it's like a wire, electrical wire. There's the conduction from here to here gets weaker and weaker as you get closer to the end of the uh, yield curve of 30 years. So we can't make a, a solid claim about what happens here to um, federal funds rates and what would happen to a 10-year uh, rate. But there is hope. Second reason is that the hotel cap rate is a function of not only this 10-year treasury rate, but also risk premiums and growth rates and income. Now, when economic conditions change, a lot of things happen. The Fed raises the uh, federal funds rate, but also we've seen an increase in the 10-year uh, Treasury rate in the last few weeks since the election on expectations of higher growth rates. Well, the same thing occurs here. If this goes up because of economic growth, this is going to compress and this is also going to get up, get, go up, uh, incomes from uh, hotels. And uh, those have uh, counteracting effects on the, uh, on the hotel cap rate. I recently did a study of hotel cap rates in response to changes in the 10-year treasury rate. And in that study, I found that a 100 basis point change in the 10-year treasury rate corresponds to a 28 basis point change in hotel cap rates. So with a, if, if we could make this connection between a 25 basis point change in the federal funds rate all, all the way out to the 10-year 10, 10 treasury rate, then we might see about a seven basis point change in the hotel cap rate each time uh, the Fed makes a move. But again, this, this translation is incredibly difficult. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Jack, that was great, uh, very informative, made a lot of sense to me, which therefore probably means it makes sense to most people out there. So <laughs> thanks for your insights, and thank you once again for joining us for the special edition of Lodging Insights. Thanks once for again, watching. Yeah, all the best for 2017.